What's up guys, it's Kristen from Anime Collective. I hope you all are having a good week. So I just got in a series I am really excited about is Colorless by Kent. You guys probably already know by now that I love sci-fi manga and this is one of my favorites to release within quite some time and I'm excited to show you guys it. Colorless by Kent is a stunning new noir punk manga with a unique style and world and it's releasing for the first time with English translation by Seven Seas. If you're someone like me who also collects anime statues, you may already be familiar with Kent from his work as a concept artist for Prime One Studio, but Colorless is the first manga to ever be published by Kent. Colorless is one of my most anticipated new manga releases of 2022, and after reading the first volume, I actually think it's one of the best manga releases of the year, as well as one of the best sci-fi manga to release as of late. Colorless's first volume has one of the most aesthetically pleasing designs I've ever seen. The artwork on the front cover of Avi and Chie is amazing and I love the graphic look of it. The cover itself is matte but the details are glossy. They have a clean but also bold look to them and they are high quality too. They are actually very similar to the quality and feel of the Die Dark volumes if you have them in hand. When you open up the volume you have a few red color pages which foreshadow the events to come but then it flashes back to the start of the story. Colorless is set in a world where a giant solar flare called Mercy Pulse wiped the world of its color and mutated the human race. Avidia aka Avi, a lone wolf investigator, takes on a number of different jobs. His main goal though is to uncover the mystery of the Iodopsy cult who worships the lost color as their deity and to track down the remaining remnants of color. To those on the outside, the cult's main goal is to revive the once vivid world, but color is a powerful new energy source that holds unlimited potential in society, a power they wish to have to themselves. A job leads him into a chance encounter with a special girl that may hold the secret to bringing back what the world has lost. To summarize, we have cults, we have a dystopian society, advanced tech, and a cool setting. Colorless has everything I could ever want in a manga and then some. It's cyberpunk but is also noir so it's full of action and intrigue but it's full of danger and has a cynical nature as well. This series may be called Colorless, but this story, the world it's set in, and the characters that are in it are so colorful and vibrant. The way the characters act and interact remind me a lot of Dora Hey Doro, especially since both are set in dark worlds yet are still so full of life. And it's very much in the vein of cyberpunk manga like No Guns Life 2, so if you enjoyed any of these series, you'll enjoy Colorless. In some ways, it also reminds me a lot of The Dark Knight. It's still unlike anything I've read before, but I wanted to mention these similarities in hopes that it may connect with you on some level. I also wanted to mention how cool it was that Hideo Kojima, who's known for Death Stranding, Metal Gear Solid, and more, posted on Twitter that he picked up the first two volumes of Colorless because he liked the art style. This is definitely one of the main reasons I decided to pick it up too. Ken's art style is similar to two of my all-time favorite manga creators, Q Hayashida, the creator of Dora Heidoro and Die Dark, and Satomo Nihei, the creator of Blom, Knights of Sidonia, Biomega, and more. But it's also very unique and distinctive as well. In a lot of ways too, his art is very reminiscent of what's seen in some American comics and graphic novels. The art is monochromatic, but there are hints of color that are added throughout. Because of this, it's one of the most visually striking series I've ever read. Color is a big thing in this world, and something that I often don't think to be grateful for. So when these pops of color appear in the panels, I find myself appreciating them even more in colorless than I would while reading other manga that have color in them. Everything from the mechanical designs to the organic elements are drawn with detail and care. The moody landscapes and the technology in this series further hone in the futuristic setting and they add believability to this world. The outfit and character designs are incredible too. I'm big into tech wear so while reading cyberpunk series like these I always catch myself thinking I'd love to own certain outfits or pieces I see various characters wearing. Kent did a phenomenal job with the overall designs especially in regards to the clothing which looks functional but also stylish. Items like Kaneda's jacket and Akira, for instance, are iconic, and details like these matter a lot more in sci-fi manga, especially when they are set in dystopian societies. That being said, I really appreciate all of the added details Kent included because they bring the world and Colorless even further to life. World building is one of Colorless's biggest strong suits, so if you enjoy rich and well-thought-out worlds, you'll enjoy this one. The story in Colorless is full of mystery, which makes it intriguing, but it's also action-packed as well. We follow Avi on his journey to uncover the secrets behind the cult and the events that brought about this new world, but it's the interactions between the characters that make this one a truly special read. You can feel a bond between them, especially Avi and Chie, even though it's just forming and I'm looking forward to seeing how their relationship develops in the volumes to come. Also, make sure you stick around for the side stories at the end of each volume. They are more lighthearted entries, like those seen at the end of Dora Hey Doro, and they are fun reads. Some sketches and concept illustrations of Avi's gun and the ASP-90, which are the fighting machines used by the Order, were also included in the back too. 
these add more context, these are great additions also. All in all, Colorless is one of the most exciting manga as well as one of the best sci-fi manga I've read as of late, and I'm looking forward to picking up more volumes. Also, Seven Seas has really been killing it lately with their licenses from Die Dark to the Darling the Franks omnibuses, which I also reviewed on the channel if you'd like to check it out, and now Colorless. In addition to Colorless, Kent created a one-shot titled Destronaut that's set in outer space that you may want to check out as well. If you haven't already done so, you can pick up Colorless now at one of the following retailers I have listed in the description below. Also, thanks so much to Seven Seas for sending this volume over for review. What about you guys? Have you been enjoying Colorless so far? Let me know. Thanks as always for watching, and I hope you're having a good week.